welcome to English 102. I was just jamming to Def Leppard's Pour Some Sugar On Me, which is one of my favorite songs of all time. I was a kid in the 80s, so I love reminiscing on the music I listened to, the toys I played with, and even how far technology has come since I was a kid. We had a Commodore 64 at home, which by today's standards is like an ancient dinosaur. And internet did not really gain mainstream popularity till maybe I was a senior in high school or maybe my first year in college. So it's really come a long way. My eight-year-old daughter, Noli, on the other hand, was born into, like most of you, a world of technology. So she does schoolwork on the computer. She's always plugged in, even at her age, uh, to TV shows, streaming TV shows, that sort of thing. So as I was reflecting, I thought it would be really one to have a theme that explores all of this. So the theme for this class is Ready Player One, an exploration of our digitally connected society. And I am excited to lead you through an educational experience in examining Ernest Cline's Ready Player One and exploring the role of digital technology in our contemporary society. Ready Player One references video games, virtual reality, and 80s pop culture while exploring relevant themes to today such as technology addiction, online privacy, social networking, identity, and social class. Ready Player One has all of those references, tons of references, hundreds, uh, to pop culture. Some of my favorite references are King Kong, The Shining, Pour Some Sugar on Me, and Back to the Future. In fact, the main character, Wade, drives a virtual DeLorean, as does the author, uh, in real life. The author of the book, Ernest Klein, drives a DeLorean in real life. Anyway, <laughs> when my daughter Noli and I watched the film adaptation recently, we both thoroughly enjoyed it, like we both sat glued to the TV. And I think she enjoyed it because she relates to that never-ending exposure to and dependency of technology. Um, sort of virtual world versus reality as well. And as a kid of the 80s, I enjoyed all the 80s pop culture references. So I think that no matter your age or personal opinions, you will enjoy the novel as well. And I hope you do. In English 102, students will develop a semester-long research project in which they explore current themes explored in the film. The semester will end with a multimodal reflection of the novel. I am looking forward to working with each of you this semester, and I hope you enjoy this class.